and the width of the bed necessary to transmit 7.5 kW to a pulley 300 mm diameter if the pulley makes 16000 rpm and the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0.3 assume the angle of contact as 180 degree and the maximum tension in the belt is not to exceed 8 newton per mm width given and now first given and the width of the belt necessary to transmit power is given 7.5 kW that is equal to 7.7500 watt to a pulley 300 mm diameter diameter 300 mm that is equal to 0.3 meter if the pulley makes 16, 1600 rpm so n is equal to 1600 rpm and coefficient of friction may be equal to 0.3 angle of contact theta is equal to 180 degree and the maximum tension in the belt is not to exceed 8 newton per mm width that is t max is equal to 8b newton so 8b is the t max now you have to find to find Width of the belt B. You have to find width of the belt B. So, so what formula is required? Required. So, to find B, you have to find T max first. So, T max is equal to you know T one plus T C. Where T C is not given, so T C is equal to zero. To find T one, we require two formulas. P is equal to T one minus T two into V, and that V is equal to pi d n divided by six t. And another formula T one divided by T two is equal to e raised to mu theta. Now this theta is equal to in radian one eighty into pi by one eighty. That is equal to pi, pi radian. Now first find out the velocity, then find out t one, t two, and then t max. Now solution. So let us start with the velocity of belt. V is equal to pi d n divided by sixty. It is pi into D zero point three into n one six zero zero divided by sixty, so V becomes V is equal to twenty twenty five point one three meter per second. Now P is equal to you know T one minus T two into V so seven five zero zero is equal to T one minus T two into V twenty five point one three. So T one minus T two. So seven five zero zero divided by twenty five point one three. It becomes two ninety eight point four one five five. This is the first equation. Now take tension ratio. T one divided by T two is equal to E raised to mu theta. So T one divided by T two is equal to E raised to mu zero point three, and theta is pi. So tension ratio becomes T one divided by T two is equal to two point five six six three. So T one is equal to two point five six six three T two. This is second equation. Put the second equation in first equation. So put the value of T one two point five six six three T two minus T two. Is equal to two ninety eight point four one five five. So one point two point five six six three t two minus one t two one point five six three t two is equal to two ninety eight point four one five five. So t two is equal to two ninety eight point four one five five divided by one point five six six three. So t two becomes one nine zero point. Five one eight six newton. 
Now put this value in equation 2. So T1 becomes 2.5663 into T2 190.5186 So T1 becomes 488.9279 Newton This is the value of T1 Now find out T max You know T max is equal to T1 plus Tc That is equal to 488.9279 plus Tc 0 so T max is equal to 488.9279 Newton. Now we know T max is equal to we have 8B. So T max 488.9279 is equal to 8B. So B is equal to 488.9279 divided by 8. So B width of the bit becomes 61.9279. 115 mm this is our required answer